Believe it or not, you just saw me practice nine different putting fundamentals. Let's take a closer look at each one. Putter alignment is extremely important when it comes to starting the ball on the desired target line. When the putter is on the carriage and it is at the center position, your putter is automatically square to the target line. The carriage is centered when the two brass adjustment nuts line up with the center of the base units. These base units are parallel to the target line, which helps square your feet and body to the target line as well. The square position of your putter also establishes the correct ball position. The face of the putter should contact the ball when the putter is square to the intended target line. An indicator arrow on the stance side base shows where the back of the ball should be during the stroke. Stance position and stance width in the putting stroke are often overlooked and are critical to consistent putting. For instance, in this setup, my feet are shoulder width apart and my putter is in the middle of my stance with the ball position just ahead of center. However, if I wide my stance without changing the ball position, the ball now appears to be in the front of my stance and the shaft of my putter is leaning away from the target. These changes in the middle of a round or even over the course of a season can cause inconsistency. The Z-Factor will help you with this aspect of your setup with the Stance Indicator Guide. Once you have the correct ball position, take your normal stance relative to that ball position. Use the stance indicators to mark the position of your right and left feet and each time you take your stance, ensure that your stance width is staying consistent. When your putter is on the carriage and you move it through the putting stroke, your putter will be traveling on a perfect path. You'll choose this path based on your setup and your preferences. Remember, the larger the spacer on the stance side, the larger the arc will be. A square face angle at impact is the most critical aspect of getting the ball started on your target line. The Z-Factor keeps your putter face square to the path along which it's traveling. In the square to square setting, the face angle of your putter is not only square to the path, but also the target line. If the putter breaks away from the magnets during the stroke, you know that you are opening or rotating the putter more than the selected stroke allows. You should either choose a stroke with more arc or limit your putter rotation. You are accomplishing a perfect stroke when your putter stays on the carriage and you feel no tension from the Z-Factor. The key to swinging the putter on an arc is to realize the putter doesn't actually rotate during the stroke. The putter opens relative to the target line, but it is always staying square to the inclined plane on which it's traveling. To demonstrate, I've attached a rotation indicator to my putter that will show any rotation that occurs during the stroke. I have my Z-Factor set up in the 65 degree swing plane, which creates the largest arc available, yet when I swing my putter back and through, you do not see any rotation in the putter. The putter is traveling inside the target line and the face is opening relative to the target line, but it is not rotating. This demonstrates why the arc putting style is used by so many tour players and other good putters, because it's natural and consistent. Now the Z-Factor is in a square to square setting and you can see some very interesting feedback from my rotation indicator. In the backstroke, you can actually see the back of the indicator and on the forward stroke, you can see the front of the indicator. This demonstrates that in a square to square stroke, the putter face actually closes relative to the swing plane on the back swing and opens relative to the swing plane in the follow through. The most efficient and natural way to swing the putter is in a pendulum. The old theory of taking the putter along the ground on the back swing and the follow through is a myth. The only way to accomplish this is either to move the handle with the head of the putter or to swing the putter too far inside and therefore off plane. Think of your rotation point as being the center of a circle and that your shoulders, arms, and putter swing around it. This will naturally create a pendulum swing of the putter. The Z-Factor's guide rails help you practice and ingrain this feeling. The rails can be set in a true symmetrical pendulum or can be set low to high or even high to low. These settings should be chosen to fit the stroke that feels the best to you and fits your natural setup. The two aspects that factor into every putt are alignment and speed. You've seen how the Z-Factor helps with alignment, now let's see how it helps with speed control. 
By practicing on the Z-Factor, you can learn to control your stroke length and ingrain a consistent rhythm. When making a stroke on the Z-Factor, you should always know the length of the stroke you're planning to take. You can use the stance indicators to gauge this. Once you establish how long your stroke will be, you must establish your rhythm. If you have a very even rhythm, back and through, you will probably have a very symmetrical stroke length. However, if you have an accelerating rhythm, you will probably have a shorter backswing and longer follow through. By practicing stroke length and consistent rhythm, you will gain more speed control on the greens. Green reading is one of the most difficult aspects of putting to learn. There are two main components of green reading. Choosing what speed to hit the putt and how much break is in the putt. The Z factor allows you to practice the relationship between line and speed. When using the Z-Factor, you know the ball is being started on the intended target line. By experimenting with different speeds, you can determine if the line you've chosen is correct or if you need a change in your initial read. Through these experiences with the Z-Factor, you will learn the difference between breaking putts, such as the difference between a left edge putt and a 4-inch breaking putt. This is the essence of reading greens. You may wonder how a machine can help you with something intangible like confidence. The Z factor will increase your confidence in several ways. First, you will know you have practiced a fundamentally sound putting stroke with every repetition. Second, you will practice and ingrain the same stroke and feelings today, next week, next month, and next year. And finally, you will be combining muscle memory with the visualization of making putts. Your muscles are moving the putter and your mind is seeing the ball go in the hole again and again.